What's up guys? So um, I've done quite a bit of work on this side of the layout. And like I said in the update video, the last video I did, I kind of wanted to get a few things on this side of the layout practiced before I showed you guys how to do it. So today we're actually going to show you how I paint backdrops. Uh, that's something I kind of remember how to do from my last layout. And um, for that I'm going to have a little assistance. But uh, first let's go talk about the supplies you need. First you need your sky color that you used. Um, I used the light blue, um, so whatever sky color you need. And you're going to need green, or um, because I model the uh, Appalachian Mountains in Western North Carolina, I need green. Um, say you model the desert or something, you're going to need like sandy colors and like earthy, more earthy colors. But I just need green and my sky color. So uh, you're going to need also a tub to mix your paints in, a pencil to mark your uh, horizons and your mountains to follow, and you're going to need foam brushes. So uh, let me go ahead and mark the spots and show you guys how to do that. First you're going to want to decide how high you want your mountains above your back scenery. I try not to go too high because then it looks unrealistic and doesn't lead the eye. So I'm probably going to have my highest peak mountain about here. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then my lowest be right around here. So let's go ahead and uh, get to drawing some stuff. Now, once your paint's open, you're just going to stir it up, you know, like you would normally. No, I probably shouldn't have to tell you that. Let me stir this up here. And take some and pour it in here. And you're going to take your green. You're going to take your green, and then you're going to pour some in with your blue. Or whatever colors you're using. Stir that together. And this is going to be our <clears throat> this is going to be our farthest layer back, so it's going to be kind of hazy, as if you're looking in the distance and it's covered by the clouds and all that craziness. Now that you have the colors that you want mixed, get your uh, foam brushes. Foam brushes don't leave streaks for the background layers, and uh, you don't want streaks in your background layers. So we're going to use foam brushes, and this is a part where you can get other people in your family involved or people that you want to be involved in trains but aren't necessarily too into them. Um, and this is, you know, anyone with any skills can help you with this. So um, on that note, I'm going to introduce someone that's been a part of my life for about a year now, and uh, she's going to help me paint the layout. Okay, so this is Danielle. This has uh, been my girlfriend for about, what, over a year now? A year and a um, month. Yeah, so this is the girlfriend. She's uh, not been in any of my videos, and so this is the first one that she's been in. And uh, she's going to help me paint the layout, or the backdrop. You excited? Super excited. Let's do it! Alright, with your background layer, you're going to start with the uh, this part here, that, and that's what we're painting. And just kind of fall in line. I mean, you don't have to exactly fall in line. I mean, you can go over the line a little bit, but this is kind of like a paint by numbers really. Okay, let's get the painting. As you can tell, it's daylight outside, so um, that means it's now the next day. Um, my battery died last night, so we didn't really record any more of the painting. Uh, Danielle has left for the day, and uh, I'm about to do some work. But yeah, that's my girlfriend. And uh, mix our next foreground color. As you can see, I've already done the background color here. I need just a tad bit more paint. All right, now let's just add our green and get a uh, darker color. Alrighty, once you got your uh, paint mixed to the color you want it, you're just gonna do like you did with the last ones and paint with the numbers, basically. Let's go with the layers.
All right, and now that that layer's done, we're gonna let it dry, and then we're gonna start on the next layer. And here's an overall of the scene so far and how it's starting to look. Let's go ahead and get to the next layer and uh, finish this thing up. I've been using this type of green for the layout, and it's uh, English Ivy Green. For the other parts, I've been using this Holly Branch uh, Green from Apple Barrel. Uh, so I'm gonna use this as my very farthest back color. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it on there, and I'm not liking how this is looking so far. So hopefully a second coat will do better for it. Alright, well let me let me go ahead and do this and then I'll get back to you the first layers on. Alright, I went ahead and painted the uh, second coat of paint and it's drying and I'm still going to have to kind of touch that up even because um, the dark green was showing streaks for some reason. Um, but anyway, as you can see, just having a backdrop already makes the scene look a lot more in depth. Let's actually move camera angles and I'll show you that more. See how much more see how much more depth that adds? I don't know about you, but it looks good to me. So uh yeah, let me finish painting this and then we'll come back with uh the scenery all done. We're that done. Alright, our uh, backdrop is complete and I hope that shows you that it's not tough to paint a backdrop. This took me about one afternoon to paint between letting coats dry. Um, you need Two colors, your sky color and then a green color, a dark, your dark green color, the darkest color you're going to use on the background. And uh, you just do three stages. That's how you make Appalachian Mountains anyway. It's the same technique for um, deserts or anything like that or other mountains. You start with the sky color, mix it with your brown or whatever color to get your lightest color and then you just add more of the green to that original color and so on. And then the last one you just do straight green. no sky added to it and uh, that's what you get and uh, once you put some scenery in front of it it'll look really good but uh, I hope this helps you guys in um, making backdrops don't forget to uh, subscribe like comment with any questions or suggestions you might have and uh, share my video amongst your friends later guys